Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another painting tutorial. Today, guess what? I'll be painting another boat with some reflections in the water. You can never have too much of this painting because I just love this subject. I can do this multiple times. So let's begin now. Actually guys, I took a vacation leave from work and I'm just so excited to spend um, today, tomorrow and the weekend because you know, I love um, enjoying some time for myself. So let's begin now. I'll be telling you first the colors that we'll be using. So we have here titanium white, black, primary blue, lemon yellow, and burnt sienna. I'm going to do first the background. So I'll be using a fairly large brush for this one. So that um, I can get the thing done quite quickly. And for this, I'll be using my white, tiny bit of black to make some gray color like this. All right, like this. And I'm gonna add tiny bit of brown to make it browny gray color. And I'm gonna begin sketching. I mean, I'm gonna begin underpainting now. Actually, uh, this is the background, but I just said underpainting. They're not the same, really. much as possible keep the brush strokes in horizontal way okay I need more colors so that's why tiny bit of black and tiny bit of brown I think I need more black like this. Let's just finish. All right, that's the background color. Now I'm gonna add tiny bit of, I'm gonna repeat it, all right? I'm gonna add white, brown, and black. That's too dark. Okay, but this time I'll be adding more white. I'll be glazing it a bit so I'm gonna use a lot of water for this step just to make the background a little more smooth Right, like that. 
just making it a little bit smooth, a little bit more smooth. Now I'm gonna get a softer brush. Softer brush, I'm gonna dab onto my white. I'm gonna add more water. And again, I'm just gonna make the middle section quite light. All right, all right, like that, and then it will make sense or a little, a little more sense later. <laughs> Let's wait for it to dry a bit. But while waiting for it to dry completely, I'm gonna sketch now the subject very gently on the wet surface. So for the sketch, I'm just gonna use my burnt sienna and maybe black, just to make use of my black. All right. Now I'm gonna start sketching the subject over the wet surface. So be careful not to smear anything over. Yeah, it's just really wet. You can tell that the canvas is still wet because the paint is not gliding very smoothly. I have done quite a bunch of boat painting tutorials and I'll make sure that those will be linked down in the description box below so that if you want to paint with me, um, I mean to do those tutorials with me, you can easily access them. Alright, I might, I might make some adjustments. Okay, I'm gonna try to get my black and paint on the surface. I think it's dry enough for me to be able to paint over it. So I'm just gonna use my black and I'm gonna do some shadowing here. Yeah, you can use a bigger brush if you're 
if you find this a little too um, tedious using a small brush so I'm just gonna switch because I am <laughs> having a hard time covering a um, wider surface yeah like that so I And notice as well that I'm keeping the horizontal brush strokes here, not doing any vertical brush strokes. Maybe a little bit of that later. For now, let's just go and do some um, horizontal brush strokes. All right, I'm gonna use this black to also cover this area all right I'm sorry we were cut by a phone call so anyway I was I was painting this side or this portion with black and then I'm gonna get some burnt sienna to kind of lighten the left side all right like that all right and then I'm gonna color this side of the boat I'm gonna use my yellow and burnt sienna So as I color this side, I'm also removing the sketch lines. Alright, like that. Okay, and since we're doing, okay, not yet done. Alright, like that. Okay, since we're doing reflections, whatever it is that being whatever it is that need to be reflected needs to be here as well on the waters but in a distorted um distorted way all right not too distorted but kind of distorted <laughs> all right so i'm gonna get the same color brown and yellow but this time i'll be adding some black to suggest the reflection it's not the exact copy of the thing being reflected but there's some change in the colors.
Okay, like that. Now I'm gonna get my black. Right, like that. Okay, now I'm gonna go and draw the inside of the boat. All right. So I'm gonna use my blue and then yellow, and then white. More blue, then brown. To tone the color down so it's like this color and I'm gonna color the inside of the boat again try to remove as much um, try to remove the sketch line as much as you can Tone the color down even more. I'm gonna add black. Okay, I'm gonna wash my brush out. I'm gonna get my white. So I already ran out of white. I'm gonna get my white. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of black to tone the color down. And I'm gonna use this for this area.
All right, like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna use the same color right here. Okay, now I'm gonna use the same um, turquoise color. Again, black, blue, yellow, and then white. Okay. I'm going to create something. Right here. You cannot see it. I'm gonna add more black so that you can see it. I cannot even see it myself. <laughs> so I'm gonna add more black. I hope you can see that. It's just an inverted triangle like this. Mm, yeah, like that. Okay. Like that. And I'm gonna use my black, add it to my turquoise color. create a line like that up to here and a little bit of that right here okay I'm gonna use my black and outline the inverted triangle All right, like that. And then I'm going to color that space between those parallel lines. So for that, I'm going to use the same turquoise color. I'm just going to add blue, white, yellow. And then tiny bit of brown. I have here some gray color. Just to tone the color down, you can use black or brown to tone the color down. And I'm going to use this to color the space in between.
Okay, and then here. Just make a regular um, a triangle opposite the inverted triangle. Like that. Okay. And then I think I need to make some adjustment. Yeah, I need to make some adjustments, guys. So I'm going to use the brownie color that we have here. I'm just going to delete this. All right, like that. Okay. All right, this is good. Looking good, guys. Okay. I'm going to get my yellow plus brown. I don't know if you can hear some machine like drilling or anything like that. All right, like that. And then now I'm going to add a little more light yellowy colors right here. Yeah, like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna get my burnt tinna. I'm gonna dab it on on the bottom of the boat like that. Just to give it some natural look. Also here. Okay, now I'm going to add some pole here. I'm going to get my black. I'm calling it pole. <laughs> Just draw a straight line like that. It's not straight. another line and some sort of like rope like that okay I'm going to make some distorted reflections in the water using black. I think I'm going to make some adjustment on the inverted triangle that I have here.
Okay, now I'm gonna get some the same light yellowy browny color that we had already. And I'm gonna use that to highlight the left side of this pole. Gonna get some white as well. Now let's make this boat a little rustic and we're going back to the background later because it doesn't seem like water to me. I'm going to make some highlights right here. Okay, I'm going to lighten this part and I'm using my fingers to spread the paint. I don't want to use my brush because it doesn't give the natural look that I want. I'm going to use my black and spread it here. I think our I think my condo building is doing some um, pest control. That's why it's quite noisy. of the right part of the boat in here okay like that I'm gonna add a little bit of markings To make it more natural looking. Now let's move to the waters. Before we go back to the boat and add some more detailing, I'm gonna go and add some ripples. So using black, I'm gonna get my black. I'm just gonna go horizontal with my brush strokes. So it's like this.
Okay, I'm gonna get my burnt sienna and I'm gonna do the same thing over the distant waters like that. It's so noisy guys. I don't know if you can hear the the machine going. So annoying. gonna use my black okay I'm just gonna darken this part it's too dark So I just glaze it with some black. You know, I'm holding two paint brushes at the same time. <laughs> Let me check. All right, like that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for my white. So I'm gonna get my white. You have to be very quick uh, this time. So I'm going to use this to create some light colors. I think this is too white. I'm going to add a little bit of that brownie color. Uh, it's starting to annoy me, the, the noise that I'm hearing while I'm painting. Can you hear it? Um, let me know in the comment section below if you can hear it. Alright, some light colors down here. a bit so just add a tiny bit of white around or along the, the reflections very minimal you don't want to overdo this step that I'm doing very minimal good okay now I'm gonna add a little bit of the brownie yellowy color I'm just gonna make some tiny bit of reflection here some brown spots on the boat I'm gonna highlight this pole. Then make some.
some more highlights. And reflections. Let me check. Oh, this is good. This is good, guys. Even if it's quite noisy, I hope it doesn't bother you that much. I'm gonna add a little bit of black just to make the area more more full. And I forgot to highlight the reflection. This is good. All right, now I'm going to get my pure white. I'm going to highlight a bit this side just give it some highlight you don't want to paint it with white just highlight a little bit of the surface okay i'm gonna glaze it with white like that to highlight it even further yeah like that <laughs> I'm gonna add some more highlights on the distant waters. this is good guys it's done i think i have to sign this now i think i can sign oh maybe not i'm just gonna darken this portion of the reflection i feel like it's a little weird all right can it get more noisy here <laughs> it's so noisy here guys it's the time of the month where when um they're actually doing the Pest control. deleted the black um, reflections right here because it's not really it should not be there I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow and I think this is done I'm gonna sign this now guys I'm gonna use my white to sign this I'm gonna sign right here okay I hope you enjoy this simple boat painting. We only finished in 35-36 minutes and I'm so happy that we're done. 
so see you in my next video guys i will do a little more or more of my painting tutorials in the coming days and i hope you enjoyed this one mm.